Welcome to the Cubby Corner here on SouthBendCubs.com. I'm South Bend Cubs broadcaster Brennan King, and on today's episode, we'll head back to the Cubs convention for the final time this offseason. The last interview we did that night was with former South Bend Cubs pitcher and current Chicago Cub, James Norwood. Before we get to the interview, I want to tell you all some big news that just broke about the Midwest League All-Star Game that you can watch the Home Run Derby and All-Star Game on broadcast television this year. That's right, for the first time in Midwest League history, the game will be broadcast both on local and regional television networks. Now for the Midwest League All-Star Game on June 18th, WCIU-TV, the U2 in Chicago, will carry the game, as well as WMYS, My Michiana, right here in South Bend. Now for the Home Run Derby on June 17th, you can watch that as well on My Michiana. Darren Pritchett will have the call on both networks. It should be a really fun night on broadcast television. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out southbendcubs.com. Let's get to the interview. Here is James Norwood on the Cubby Corner. We welcome you back on the Cubby Corner here from Cubs Convention 2019. Brendan King joined alongside Chicago Cubs reliever James Norwood, former South Bend Cub 2015-2016, spent some time in South Bend, the former seventh-round pick in 2014 out of St. Louis. James, thanks for taking the time tonight. I know it's your first Cubs convention. How do you like it so far? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, it's like... It's the first like any fan fest that I've been to. I never went to one growing up, so it's kind of overwhelming just seeing all the people and just that are just here to watch us and to meet us. So that's incredible. Just describe the past year for you. You know, whirlwind coming from Iowa, then you get the call up, spend some time in the big leagues. Just how special was it for you in 2018? Oh, it was surreal. I mean, like being in Double A and then after the All Star break, getting the call to go up to Triple A, and then all of a sudden, like eight or ten days later, I'm up in the majors. It's like. I really couldn't believe it when they told me at first. I was like, wasn't too emotional. I'm like, all right, call my dad. And he's like freaking out. It's like, all right, they're going to fly you out there for my debut. And he's like, all right, I'll, I'll call you back. Call him for like an hour. You wouldn't pick up. And then he finally picks up. And he's like, yeah, I was just super shocked. I just couldn't even talk. So I was like, unreal. Well, 2015, 2016 in South Bend. And interesting years is 2015, you spent some time as a starter still yeah. with South Bend. But 2016, you really solidified your game as a reliever. Um, coming out of the bullpen. Uh, was there something that changed or was just coming out of the bullpen just suddenly clicked? Um, I think it was just the adjustment process just because in college I was a starter. So it's like at uh, the beginning of my first season in South Bend, they tried to transition me to a, a reliever. Then ended up getting hurt. So uh, they put me back as a starter. But then the next year I finally got into a routine. So I was able to be ready like a reliever in every game. Do you look back on all your stops? I know you even spent some time in old Boise, Idaho uh, yeah. for a couple of games, but Boise, South Bend, uh, you mentioned Tennessee, Iowa. Do you just look back on that and just think, wow, like, you know, that not only is that quite the journey, but, you know, now I'm here at Wrigley pitching. Oh, yeah. It's just like, especially talking to, like, friends who were drafted my same year and just, like, playing with them in Boise. And then all of a sudden I'm here and it's just like, I don't know, it's just crazy, like, all the people you meet and just everything along the way. It's just, I don't know. Now coming out to spring training this year in Arizona, getting prepared for another big league season. Um, you know, are you preparing yourself, you know, to stay at Wrigley, you know, full time? And you know, what, what your goals for 2019? Uh, yeah, like obviously I want to be able to break with the team, but I mean, it's just coming in the, as best as I could be. You know, just be ready for anything. It's just show them that I could help them. And, help the team in any way possible. Well, James, we appreciate you taking the time on the Cubby Corner tonight. Have fun at Cubs convention. There's a long line out there waiting to meet you. All right, yeah, thanks. That's James Norwood, former South Bend Cub, 2015-2016, now up at Wrigley Field. Look forward to 2019. This has been the Cubby Corner. Thanks so much to James Norwood for jumping on the Cubby Corner with us at the 2019 Cubs convention. And although that was our final interview from that night, we are not done on the Cubby Corner in the 2019 offseason. That's because I'm going to be heading out to Arizona this weekend at the Chicago Cubs Spring Training Facility. It would be great to catch up with a bunch of former South Bend Cubs. More interviews are on the way. That's to come this March on the Cubby Corner. Thank you all for watching today's episode. Back with you next week with more content from spring training. So long.